Welcome back to Just Guitar Talk. My name is Brandon, and welcome back to the show. This week we're talking about the Quilter Aviator Cub 50. This is my new amp, and I've been looking for a new amp for a while. And you know, I've the for a long time the only amp I've had was my trusty Fender Mustang GTX 100, which I love. Uh, it's been you've seen it on this channel a bunch of times. Great tones, uh, great digitaling, uh, digitally uh, modeling amplifier. Uh, it's got lots of effects and amp types and everything, but I was looking for something a little bit more analog. I wanted to build a pedal board again and just have uh, an analog rig that I could, uh, you know, use pedals with. And, and, uh, and yeah, I just wanted to, to start doing something different. So I was kind of going back and forth between amps that I was looking to purchase. I knew I wanted something solid state because solid state is just killing it right now. I think, you know, there's so many good companies out there. There's, you know, we got the Roland Blues Cube line. We also got the Boss Katana. We have, you know, the Fender Tone Master and of course Quilter. And I was this close to getting a Tone Master but at the last minute, I decided to go get a quilter here. Now, I have tried quilter before. I think I did a 202 tone block. And man, that thing was great. Very loud, very powerful. You get lots of different tones. And it's a great clean pedal platform, which is what I'm all about. And this was only about 675 bucks online, which is very affordable. And nothing but glowing reviews about it. And yeah, like I said, it's solid state, but what this amp here gives you is it gives you three different flavors of Fender amplifiers, essentially. It gives you Tweed, Blonde, and Blackface. So I've had this amp for a, a month now, and I've decided that it really needs about three videos. This is the first one where I'm just gonna play it clean with a couple different guitars, and I'm just gonna show the Blonde, Tweed, and Blackface sounds. And I'm gonna show you the reverb and show you how it sounds with different guitars. The next video I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show how it reacts with pedals. And then the video after that, I'm actually going to use a Y cable to blend the different channels together so you hear what it sounds like. Uh, I saw in a review on Sweetwater, somebody's like, Take my advice, if you really want to see what this amp can do, buy a Y cable so that you can blend, blend two different channels together. That's what I did and it's that's where this amp really shines. I mean, all of these sound really good, but when I started blending channels, that's that's really cool. So uh, look forward to that. And so yes, here it is. It's, it's small, but it's powerful. It's loud, 50 watts. I haven't had it above nine o'clock really. I mean, it's it's, it gets loud, it gets super loud. And it's, uh, you can totally gig with it. It's light as you want. You can carry this anywhere to any gig. It's gonna be super powerful. And so far, I'm a big fan. So let's listen to it. So I'm not gonna be messing with the EQ when I uh, do this video here. I'm only gonna be keeping the, I have the Bass rolled back just a little bit. I have the mids right at noon, and then I have the treble at about one o'clock with just a little bit of reverb, but I will crank up the reverb at some point just so we can hear what it sounds like. I'm gonna start off with my Gibson Les Paul tribute with Lyndon, uh, Lindy Freeling, home canceling P90s, love these. So yeah, let's hear what it sounds like. on the tweed setting. Thank you. 
sounds good. Sounds good. I don't really use the tweet setting that often. And uh, tweet amps not, aren't really my thing. But I think this sounds good. Let's go over to the Blonde channel. So let me, uh, I'll play on the middle pickup a little bit and then the bridge real quick. So what I'm hearing, and I hope this comes through um, in the video, is that it's brighter, less bassy, but not as brittle sounding as the Tweed channel. So uh, I think this sounds this channel sounds good with the Les Paul, um, which is this this guitar is a little bassy, so it's nice to have a little bit more top end. So. Uh, To me, it doesn't sound as twangy as the Tweed channel, but brighter and a little bit smoother. Not much bass. The Tweed had that low end, but it was also a little bit brittle, a little raw. But this sounds smoother with more top end, more brightness. This would be a good channel for blues, uh, and and I play a lot of blues. So, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and check out the next one, and this is going to be the blackface. the blackface channel. What I'm hearing with the blackface channel is we got that low end back. So it's got that nice low end. It retains the smoothness that the blonde channel had, but with more low end. It wasn't as brittle as the tweed sounding amp. Um, it maintained the low end. It wasn't as bright as the blonde. It had the low end and it had the smoothness. So I like this channel a lot as well. Uh, I, I gravitate towards the blonde just because I like a brighter sounding amp. Um, but this is good. This is really, really nice too. And I'm going to show how this one sounds with the Strat. So I'm going to move over to the Strat now so we can hear all the different channels. With the Strat, and of course I'm playing my new Relic Strat from All-in-One Guitars out of Los Angeles. 
I have really bonded with this guitar more so than I have with any other Stratocaster. Please go check out their website, check them out on Reverb. This guitar was fantastic, about 500 bucks, an absolute steal. Anyways, I'm on the Twee channel with the Strat. Sounds really good with the strat, I'll tell ya. Very glassy, great classic Fender sound there. Um, yeah, just had that nice glassy Strat Fender tone that's just, that, you, that you'd want, that you'd love. Uh, I thought it sounded great. So let's try it on the Blonde channel, see what we got. <laughs> So that sounds good. I really, really like it on the middle pickup. Um, again, a lot brighter than the twee, but not as brittle sounding, not as glassy. It's a, again, brighter and smoother. But it's got that good funk. which you would want to do on a middle pickup and missing that low end when I use the neck pickup. The the in-betweens sound really good on the blonde channel. All right, and lastly, let's go to the black bass.
so again, I'm hearing the same thing. So with the black bass channel, we have the return of the bass. So we got that, that low end, but very smooth, not as brittle as the tweed, but not as bright as the blonde. So yeah, in my experience with all the channels, with the tweed, we have nice low end, not very bright, but brittle and glassy sounding. Whereas the blonde, we have very bright, in my opinion, not so much low end, very smooth sounding. With the black face, we have low end, nice low end, not too bright, uh, but very smooth. So that's been my experience with, and I hope that kind of comes through in this video and you hear the same things. But if you're hearing something different, definitely let me know. I like to hear what you think about these sounds in the comments. Now, uh, what's my favorite? <laughs> Black Face Channel is definitely my favorite. Is it the one I use? No. I use, I blend two channels together. Which ones were you gonna see in the next video where I combine the channels together? And then after that, I'm gonna make a video where I use this with my pedal board. So you can see how this amp takes pedals. Spoiler alert, takes pedals like a goddamn champ. Uh, anyways, before we piece out, let's just max out this reverb so you can hear. It's kind of like a hall reverb almost, which is what I like. It has a very long dwell. Longer than I normally would like, but... Again, this is just... Maxed right out. Yeah. Whoa, okay, so that's maxed right out. It'll surf. You can go surfing with this thing, for sure. Now, let's kill the reverb. And we're gonna upset the neighbors. I'm gonna crank the gain. Masters down low, gains all the way up. Okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough of that. Anyways, uh, this is the Quilter Aviator Cub 50. This is a bitching amp for not much money, and it's light as hell. And you get that, you get these great Fender sounds, and they're gonna work with all your guitars, and uh, and you can do so much with it. It's very very flexible, super lightweight. Solid state technology, and I'm telling you, solid state is there. It is. There. You know, does it sound exactly like a tube amp? No, but does it sound damn close? Fuck yeah. And I'll tell you what, you put a decent clean boost in front of this thing, yeah, it'll get you there. It'll get you there. It'll give you the cojones that we love from tube amps. And, you know, Quilter just makes solid stuff. And I think this thing is going to be very rugged, durable. I think it's going to hold up. I'll feel a little bit better about using analog solid state technology than I would digital technology. You know, computers, I've worked with computers long enough to know that they just stop working one day for no reason. There's a great video, I, I forget, as the guy who has a great channel, where he talks about, you know, he, the fears he had with his tone master about, you know, it's like, it's a computer and computers are just gonna stop working one day for no reason and uh, that's why I'm not, I'm not, I'm not keeping it. And uh, this isn't a computer. It's just 
really good solid state technology and uh, it's analog. It is solid. Give it a shot. You don't have anything to lose. It's 675 bucks. You know, it's cheaper than a lot of a lot of uh, solid state amplifiers in its class. You know, and it's just you know bare bones. I've just plugged straight into this thing, and I get great tones. You know, all nice clean tones, dirty bluesy. You can get it all here. Very nice reverb. I should say it's got a limiter, which acts as a compressor, so you get a little bit more sustain, and it really balances out your frequencies. Uh, I should say with this limiter, generally I use a compressor with my amplifiers, and I have used it with my tube amps as well as is my uh, solid state amps, but I haven't really needed to use it. I, my Keeley Compressor Plus doesn't really get used much with this amp, except when I want to use it as a, as a boost. Um, so the limiter is great. The reverb is totally awesome, and it's got an effects loop as well if you want to use it. You know, speaking of digital modelers, you could totally plug in your digital modder into this uh, effects loop if you wanted to use this as like an FRFR type situation. Um, anyways, I'm a big fan of this amp and big fan of Quilter products. And so this is just the first of three videos. Next one, we're going to be using a Y cable to blend all the channels together and see what kind of tones we can get. After that, I'm going to have a pedal video coming at you. Anyways, this is going to be the amp I'm going to be using to demo a lot of pedals coming up here. So if you have any questions about this amp, feel free to drop it in the comments. Also, if you have comments about this amp and if you have this amp, if you like it, if you don't like it, leave comments, like, subscribe, do all the things. Check me out at Just Guitar Talk on Instagram and also on TikTok. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time. Of course I gotta take you out, I gotta jam out, you know.